My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. my Russian to make this out, but it seems to show a map of some sort. Worn. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. about the wicked veil, Nadia. My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the veil. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. Grandpa told me all about it. <clears throat> she lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the veil to help <clears throat> them study the ruins. The witch 
killed her, and he's never forgotten that. <laughs> but a witch straight out of a Russian folktale? It sounds unlikely. Just something is in the veil. Nothing good happens in that place. <laughs> I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. Is there any more sign from Grandpa? Are you still on the path to the Vale? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there. inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil. What is that sound? Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains, no food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself, but the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music, and from there, he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. Wait, 
still works. They say you never forget the first time you hear the sound. My parents took me here to contemplate the mysteries from beyond the shrine. In time, I will bring my children here. They say that without the music of the mountains, our ancestors would have wandered the earth until they died. But instead, these mountains called them home, just as it calls to me. Maybe I could swing it... somehow. Maybe I could swing it... somehow. <sighs> if I could lower the gate, I should be able to climb higher.
Codex. This one is a series of meditations on willpower. Ceremonial cloth worn by priests during mass. I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. 
This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the Vale to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley, armed men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the earth, to watch men and women work and starve and die, to participate in their punishment. I knew it was evil, but I did not know how to fight until I met her. Initial contact was made. With the elderly native male at 0700. At first, we believed he was participating in an assault on the facility, but he proceeded away and through an unmapped canyon. We received authorization to pursue at a distance, and already we've encountered ruins and other promising signs. We're trying to keep calm out here, but this looks like a big find. That discovery bonus is as good as ours. No, no, this, 
Hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There, there is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. <sighs> Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. my daughter. They took her from me on the surgeon's table. I tried to fight, but they are many, and I am weary. Then they dragged me away, split our three hearts apart. They have taken me to a hidden vale where ancient ruins stand. They tell me if I cooperate, I will see my family again. I will never trust these monsters, but I do not have a better plan. There are curious flowers here. Exposure to the pollen has left my captors rattled, and they will go no further than our little outpost. They brought me here in the hopes that my expertise in botany would help them find a counteragent. <laughs> At last, the state has a use for me. 
I nod and smile. I play the part. But they cannot break me again. For my daughter. For Ivan. I will live. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Nadia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then won't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. I've got to bring it lower. If I release the valve, maybe it'll give it a shove. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange Vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. I found something. One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need.
This must have been a sensor to burn incense in, but it's been modified. Right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pods. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer are on their feet on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right. I'll start gathering the other supplies now.
Russian. It looks like these markings point to a nearby location, but I can't quite piece it together. It's the flowers. Just need the seed pods now. you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmission since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses and I have stairs set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. Did you clear out the cave? The cave is clear. If you head there now, you'll be safe. Thank you. Here, take this. Jacob told us to protect you, but you weren't the one who needed it. Damien, the Prophet's Forge.
Cities are not built on plans alone. There must be material, and there must be someone who knows how to build. Damien was that man. They say he could muster brick from nothing more than a handful of dirt and a tinderbox. They say his craftsmanship was divinely inspired. It is his hand that gave form to the architect's dreams. Grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical Grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now.
think about Dad every day. For years, I was so angry with him. For losing himself in his work. For chasing what I thought were fairy tales. I had no idea. I keep telling myself that I was young. That I couldn't understand. But I still lost him. And now, for some reason, I feel more connected to him than I ever did when he was alive. He never got this far. But I know he's with me. The Divine Source is here, and I'm going to find it. He knew that it could change the way we understand a human soul. That it could change the world. But he's gone now. And I'm the only one left who knows he was right. Lara, are you okay? Yes, I'm at the base of the old Soviet mill. I'm making my way to the mine entrance at the top of the facility. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way. Another sculpture, but this one looks like a game. These pieces look familiar. I know I've seen something like this before. Comrades, this report comes to you following an unprecedented discovery in the mountains of Freedom Station. Our deep mine crew has broken into a massive cavern filled with incredible ruins and artifacts, the likes of which have never been found in the motherland. The workers that we acquired from the native population have become agitated following the discovery. They clearly know something about these ruins. We will begin working the prisoners around the clock, for I believe we are on the verge of an even more amazing discovery. It. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... oh no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. <laughs> Sorry, Laura. Damn.
does, I'll make my own and meet you at the Vale. I'll let you know when I get there. Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. This can't be the same place. I was lost in here. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the Vale. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just... Gone. No trace. Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. Oh, can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, our people avoided the Vale. The Founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. When the guilt of working in the Gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her, mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found the moment to thank her, she spat at my feet told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the Gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty, because she knew I was capable. 
It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. Just wolves. Damn. Move these platforms. I'm up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you know when I've arrived. are out there. I can hear them. Panting. Moment of clarity. But it's slipping. Coming less frequently. We're sick. Poisoned. Something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here. Walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit. A goddess. A demon. She is whispering. We listen. Listen.
to run. made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. <sighs> Try pulling that lever over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. Your witch is clever. Everything in this veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga. The pollen does the rest. Last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. And what did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I'm so sure I've got the story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a god. My grandmother was a prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist. And they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave us. Killing the witch won't bring her back. I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. dose remaining. Make it count. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks, but once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape, and she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners, and they dragged Seraphima away to the Vale. I tried to stop them, 
fighting in the open. I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. She has to be inside. This is it. It's her. Always been her. At the margins. In the dark. Always there. She... She is what we came here for. We just didn't know it until now. She is the center of the world. She can make the fog swirl and choke our minds. She can give us clarity. She spoke her name, Baba Yaga, and our wounds healed. With another word, she split us open again. We are nothing, and we are hers. We will do as she commands. We were made for this. Oh God, what has she done to them? Bravo team, the missing soldiers, they're here. <sighs> Dizzy, no, I need that last antidote. The last of it. Oh, no! No! When you are dead, you too shall serve.
hallucination. Shake it off. Yeah! 
I know who you are. I can only imagine what you've gone through to stay alive. <laughs> you have no idea. It's over now. You don't have to live like this anymore. Serafima. But you died. They, they told me you died. Will she be all right? I don't know. But it won't be easy for any of you. Family never is. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, Lara, for everything. a little time alone while I look around some more. I shut off the last of the boilers inside. You should be able to explore without, you know, going mad. Nadia's grandparents, split apart by the Gulag, are reunited. They all have a long and arduous road ahead. Seraphina wore the mask of the witch for so long, I don't know if she will ever be able to fully return to the world. And Yvonne dreamed of killing the witch to get revenge for his lost love, but they were the same woman all along. That wound he nursed for decades won't heal overnight. They're survivors. We all are. But it will be difficult. It will feel impossible some days, I know. At least they'll have a fighting chance, now that we know the truth. It may not be enough, but it's a good start. 